Hey everyone, Randy Coppola, U.S. Launch Report and Veteran Space Report. Now before we go to our launch coverage, I'm going to just give you a quick spot from the Media Center uh, about this launch. Now this has been scrubbed several times, but there's still a great deal of interest in the first commercial launch of the Falcon Heavy. And with a few modifications that haven't been used also on the demonstration flight. Very important to move uh, SpaceX towards manned spaceflight to get those checks and uh, checks, T's crossed, and I's dotted. Anyways, another reason for the big interest in this flight is the Trump administration has made it clear they are not pleased with the slow progress of the SLS, the cost overruns, and the fact it's basically been considered a rocket to nowhere for quite some time, is making NASA take a second look at their options. And the Falcon Heavy has been discussed. With a few modifications, the Falcon Heavy and a second stage could possibly push that Orion capsule around the moon. One thing is if the Falcon Heavy is chosen, it tells me that the uh, U.S. is serious about getting back into spaceflight and the drought of slow plodding along that we've endured is coming to an end. These are exciting times here at the Cape. So, if you like us, subscribe. Keep those donations coming. We really appreciate it. And I'm going to go back to Mike for more launch coverage. Thank you for watching. Ground gas closeouts is starting. Minutes, 30 seconds. Minutes, 15 seconds. Vehicles flight pressures. Nine, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Three seconds into flight, under the power of 5.1 million pounds of thrust, Falcon Heavy is headed to space. With throttling down at T plus 40 seconds to prepare for maximum dynamic pressure. Power telemetry on nominal. We're hearing reports. Power and telemetry are nominal. Vehicle supersonic. You may have heard the call out on Side net one. Vehicle is supersonic. Side boosters are throttling back up on power as we're Max through Q. the period of maximum dynamic pressure. <laughs> Trajectory looking good. You can hear the applause behind me as we've gotten past maximum dynamic pressure. Next event coming up is chillin' of the MVAC-D engine. Get the turbo pump ready to ignite the main engine on the second stage in another couple of minutes. Merlin engine performance looks good. 
We've begun dropping power on the side boosters to decrease loads on the center core. up in about five seconds here the side boosters landing burn will begin as well. Hey everybody, Randy Coppola. We really appreciate you tuning in and following our channel. Right now that booster is on the pad at LZ1, cooling off after its trip pushing that Arab sat up into space. There's Mike showing the other one. What a sight that was to see come down. It's fantastic. If we recommend... 105.2 and 105.3. Yeah, how can you argue with that? If you get a chance to come down to Cape Canaveral and to see these launches, I highly recommend it. You get the chance. Now also, uh, you know, us being a veteran owned and operated station, you make sure if we're trying to get people to do that now a launch tour get some vets up close and personal with these launches way better than what we were able to get today but once we get our tracker we'll have some really good shots Mike and I have been working really hard to get our equipment squared away and so we'll be bringing you better coverage as time goes on we had a, a good return after his accident Oh, we'll yeah. have a real tracker then. All right, well, hey, yeah, shout out to you, Ed. I hope you're out there watching, and man, you've got some equipment. We are so excited. We'll be going to different locations and covering launches. Uh, it, it'll be a, a new approach for U.S. Launch Report, and we're looking forward to bringing it to you. Well, anyways, yeah, thanks a lot, and we'll chat with you later. Take care out here. Coming up in about five seconds here, the side boosters landing burn will begin as well. Whoa. 